All right, what's up guys? So I'm gonna do a quick tutorial here on um, showing you how to make LFO tool MIDI triggered in Logic. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do it so that LFO tool doesn't just do your typical four to the floor on every beat side chaining. You can have it do any sort of random timing that you want um, for music that isn't your basic four to the floor. So, let me show you here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to create one instrument. And just for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to do Serum. And I'm just going to do the initial preset here. And I'm going to create just an empty MIDI region. And I'm just going to create a note that is going to just be one solid note this whole time. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to create another track. And for this track, you're going to go to AU MIDI controlled effects and grab LFO tool. Now, on this track, what you're going to do is you're going to send this track to a bus. We'll say bus one. And I'm going to change the output to bus one to. Oh, sorry. I'm going to put the output to no output. Now, in LFO tool, on this second instrument track, we're going to go to sidechain, and we're going to go to bus 1. Okay, now what we're going to be hearing, there will be nothing coming out of this channel. We're going to get all the signal coming out of instrument 2 now. We're going to be hearing instrument one out of instrument two. Okay. Now, if I solo this, we get nothing, right? Because this is being sent to bus two and bus, or sorry, bus one, and bus one has no output. But this is reading the signal from bus one, and now we're getting the output out of this. But you can hear. It's still going at your typical four to the floor quarter note rate. And that's because we have this set and we have, um, we have to set this section under MIDI. We have to set this up, um, but we also have to create the MIDI notes that you want it to trigger at. So in here, let's, Let's just create some MIDI notes that we want it to trigger at. And there are two different modes in, in uh, LFO tool on this note retrigger. And the very first one, when you click it on, what it will do is it will trigger, um, it'll trigger LFO tool every time it sees one of these notes. It'll restart, but it will continue to go at this quarter note value even after this, okay? So let me see if I can show you what it's doing. And you can watch this to see what it's doing, so. Okay, so let me go, let me change these. Let me get some faster notes so you can maybe see or hear the bigger difference. And I'm gonna do them a little bit more. Some of them here on the off. Okay, so you can see that it's re-triggering LFO tool every time it sees one of these MIDI notes. But it's gonna continue like in this empty space. So here, watch, let me get rid of these. After this, after this last one here gets triggered, it's just gonna keep going at your normal quarter rate. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Now, another way to do it is this envelope mode. And what it will do is it will, stop after 
this last note is triggered. So after every single note, this stops. So it will not continue. So let's let me show you what this does. Okay. Now you can can keep it going by drawing out your MIDI notes longer. Um, at least I thought you could. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, so yeah, it'll just it. Oh, it'll it'll. Sorry, it'll run through one cycle of this per note. Okay, so it stops after it finishes that quarter note cycle. That's right. Okay, so you can set this up to do any sort of random triggering you want. Okay, so if you're doing music that doesn't have your typical four to the floor beat and you want it to just trigger every time that kick hits, you would set it up this way. If you have a song where you want it to be doing your typical four to the floor, but then you have some extra kicks in there in between, then you would want to set it up with just the normal note retrig. Hope this makes sense and hope this helps out. If you have any questions, let me know.